Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all. In this video, I will share with you the introduction to Plexi Software. This Plexi Software will be used in analyzing the Open and Turn Lab in this subject. The objective of this video are students able to understand the function of Plexi Software in analyzing the substructure model such as retaining wall and foundation. Okay, before we start, let's redo an activity. Alright, uh, this activity just want to survey how many of you at least never heard about the Plexi software. Okay, you can use any device to open these applications. Uh, you go to the Mentimeter.com and then key in the key number as shown here. Or you can also scan the QR code to join in this activity. As an introduction, we need to know what is the Plexis. The Plexis is come with the full package of the finite element method. By using this Plexis software, the engineer will analyze the deformations and also the stability of structure. In this Plexis software, it required advanced constitutive model for the simulation of the non-linear, time-dependent, and anisotropic behavior of soil or rock material. Since soil is a multi-phase material, a special procedure are required to deal with hydrostatic and non-hydrostatic pore pressure in the soil. Although the modeling of the soil itself is an important issue, many projects involve the modeling of structure and the interaction between structure and soil. So that, plexis is considered as equipped with the features to deal with various aspects of complex geotechnical problems. There are few geometry components in the Plexi software. The most geometry components have their certain properties, which you can view and also alter in the property window. After you double-clicking a geometry component, the corresponding property window will be appears. The first one is points and lines. Okay. The function of points and line delays the basic input item in creating the geometric model by using geometry line. Okay, this item can be selected from the geometry submenu or you can get from the second toolbar. Plate is the second component in geometrical component in Plexi software. Okay, plates are structure object that is used to model the slender structure in the ground with a significant flexural rigidity or bending stiffness. And also, we can design for normal stiffness. Okay, this plate can be used to simulate the influence of walls, plate, shell, or lining extending in Z direction. In geometry model, plate appears as a blue line. Okay. So, uh, the plate can be selected from the geometry submenu or by clicking on the corresponding button in the toolbox. The next geometry elements in the Plexi software is GeoGrid, or sometimes we call it as a geotextile. The GeoGrids are slender structure with a normal stiffness, but there are no bending stiffness. GeoGrids can only sustain tensile force and no compression. These objects are generally used to model soil reinforcement. This interface element is assigned to it a visual thickness, which is an imaginary dimension used to define the material properties of the interface. The higher the visual thickness is, the more elastic deformation are generated. In general, these interface elements are supposed to generate very little elastic deformations and therefore the visual thickness should be small. On the other hand, if the visual thickness is too small, the numerical ill conditioning may occur. The visual thickness is calculated as the visual thickness factor times the average element size. Okay, as you can see here, there is the plexus procedure. As shown here, there are four stages in analyzing the substructure model using Plexi software. 
but actually there are two main stages which is the first stages are analysis including input and calculation phase and the second stage are result of analysis including output and also the curve you may read your result in terms of curve table and also graphical okay the next module i will show and explain briefly on the flexi procedure okay before we end our sessions let's we do an assessment here okay uh, i just want to check your understanding on the topic today okay you can use any device to open quiz.com okay that's all for today module if you have any question please do not hesitate to contact me either using Moodle medium whatsapp or email see you in the next module thank you and stay safe